Does science hate paranormalism, religion, and other perceived competing ideologies? No way! Hey people, Trace here for D News, and I have a bone to pick with you. No, not you. Y you. No? Oh, well, someone. I have a bone to pick with someone. If I were to pose the question, what is science? Many of you out there on the Google would uh, search and you would end up reading, science is the systematic study of the structure and behavior of the natural and physical world. Which is great, but that's a pretty broad definition. So my beef is this, if you go to any story on the internet that claims to be scientific, you'll get a troll that says, this isn't science. And that just seems weird to me, because under this definition, anything looked at systematically is science. History, archaeology, medicine, psychology. Even if we were to decide to study the history of dragons, if we did it empirically and systematically, it would be considered science. And to prove it, here are some things that some of the mouthier commenters would say aren't science and that we would never touch. <laughs> but we totally did. Last year, Cornell professor Daryl Bem published in the Journal of Personality and Social Psychology that he had observed statistically significant results showing that psi, or PSI, or extrasensory perception, existed in college students. Bem's paper made headlines worldwide, and another researcher who had done psychic studies for a place you may have heard of called the Pentagon, psychic science, not because he didn't like Bem, but that's because that's what scientists do. So to prove that it could be true, other scientists took up his methodology and attempted to repeat his experiments, and they couldn't. That is just how science works. It's measured by replication, replication, rep, 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 replication. If you can't repeat a study, then it doesn't doesn't really have a lot of worth to the scientific community. There have even been scientists who published papers saying that cold fusion, or nuclear fusion at room temperature, existed, but their study hasn't been able to be repeated. There are countless other examples of real scientists diving headfirst into things that the trolls would say aren't science. Like in 1968, when the National Wildlife Federation sent a researcher to the Pacific Northwest to find out if there was a Sasquatch there. His results were inconclusive. Then there are examples of scientists that just go totally against the grain. Like last year when scientists claimed that they had observed particles traveling faster than Einstein's limited speed of light. It turned out they had a faulty wire in their equipment, but it didn't stop them from trying. It's important to point out that in science, it's okay to be wrong. It's almost as exciting to be wrong as it is to be right. When a scientist studies a single idea for their entire career only to be proven wrong, they don't just deny that the new science exists. Instead, they commonly look for another angle on their same hypothesis and start testing there. Niels Bohr, who won a Nobel Prize for Physics, said, We are all agreed that your theory is crazy. The question that divides us is whether it's crazy enough to have a chance of being correct. To go back to the beginning, what is science? Science is testing anything and everything, and leaving it transparent and allowing other people to try and repeat your experiment. Scientists have egos, they have flaws, they're just people, man. But they don't give up. Last year at Harvard, scientists studied alien abduction. We just keep testing hypotheses and reporting what we find. That's how we do. That's how we roll. Is there something out there that you think deserves more scientific study? I mean, science needs inspiration just as much as they need research volunteers. So make sure you leave it in the comments and subscribe to D News. We do two videos every single day of the week, even on Saturday and Sunday. Thanks for watching, everybody, and woo! Science! Your move, trolls.